Good mental health is more than the absence of a mental health problem. This Mental Health Awareness Week, the focus is on thriving, not just surviving. We want our communities to be able to talk about mental health and take steps to take care of their own mental health and well-being. This is applicable also to our police officers and staff who face a difficult role each and every day. It's no surprise that psychological injuries are some of the most commonly reported by police officers and staff across the country. It's important to recognise that in protecting us they will be exposed to a whole range of upsetting things and to ensure that there is a strong support network there. As Commissioner, I am reassured to see that in West Mercia, this is very much in place. Mental health and well-being are key priorities for the force, with a number of internal mechanisms in place, as well as signposting to other agencies to ensure a tailored specialist support is provided, wherever needed across our workforce. In the wider community, it is difficult to assess just how many police incidents are related to mental health issues. Some estimates suggest around 15 to 20 percent, but some evidence suggests it could be much higher. What we do know is that one in four people will experience a mental health problem in their lifetime. It's important that we keep people who have been detained for mental health reasons rather than criminal reasons out of custody and into a safe place where they can get the specialist medical care. An important part of this has been the Mental Health Triage Nurse Scheme, which I have helped to fund alongside the clinical commissioning groups and it is being piloted in Worcestershire to meet peak demand. By having a specialist within the Operations Communication Centre with access to both medical case records and police logs, they can ensure early intervention for people with mental health issues who have been in touch with the police. Normalises talking about our emotions and how we feel about things is, is helpful. Um, mental health is a continuum. We're not always completely mentally well, not always completely, not completely mentally ill. Um, I think it's a, it's a balance. Somebody in mental distress can present as quite challenging or a threat to themselves, and this can lead to the police feeling the need to detain the person. This often isn't in the best interests of somebody with mental health problems. Um, so part of our role is trying to look at other routes that could be taken for this person. Frankly, that saves money, and frankly, it's in the best interest for the person and the services as well. There is still much more to do in this area, and we will continue to work with partners who have an important role to play as part of a holistic approach. I will continue to hold the Chief Constable to account to ensure that the focus remains around mental health as part of my promise to build a safer, more secure and reassured West Mercia.